Hello, Popcorn Hello. Junkies here. And we have a rare appearance in a film review from Kiki B, who, I'm as we know, you. is vicious, is honest, <sighs> but is always honest. And that's the point, isn't it, Keeks? What's the point of being a review team unless you say what you really feel? Is that right? Yeah. We're here, the Popcorn Junkies, to review the Lego Movie 2, the oh, second gosh. part. Do you see what they did there? No, they didn't do anything there. Sorry. Second part? He looked like Nan then. Yeah, I thought they were playing with the title with bricks, but they weren't playing with bricks. So this picks up literally minutes after where Lego Movie Part One, one finished Finish. with Will Ferrell in the kind of kids' playing room. Um, well, the, the little sister's toys invading. Yeah, so the little They're sister's like... Duplo. Did you ever have Duplo? I don't think so. Did you ever have the big bricks of... Yeah, yeah, you did. You did, didn't you? Well, we were really little, but we were more into the... Yeah, I always hated Duplo. I was child-friendly. You know, I so. loved it. Did you? Yeah, because I found it satisfying. Oh, they do sort of snugly yeah, fit on. Yeah, but they're always really big. Anyway, they were really funny, weren't they? How would you do their voices? The, du the Duplo hey, attacked. Can you destroy you? Yeah, they were really funny. So they Hello! Were... <laughs> Basically, it's a sibling rivalry fight, isn't it? It's a brother yes. and a sister having a fight yeah. through their Lego. Through their toys, yeah. Yeah. I was a bit disappointed Will Ferrell only appeared at the beginning. We heard him, but we didn't mm. see him again. The film proceeds to go through a crazy ass storyline of following all of our favourite characters. Emmett and his girlfriend. What's his girlfriend? Lucy. Lucy and obviously Batman. Batman. Who? Unikitty. Unikitty. Which that's one was that? Oh, that's the cat, are they? The kitty. <laughs> Did we like the first film? I liked the first film, you guys did. I liked it, but then I watched it too many times and I just got everything is awesome! I think I got a bit like that with it. I felt like I watched it the first time. I, I didn't it was boring. I didn't enjoy it the first time at the cinema. I was a bit fidgety. And I tell you what, I thought the... You, oh no, you didn't. No, the animation I thought was brilliant. And I think this film... Well, it was a breakthrough moment because they haven't really done a Lego, mo like a no, Lego movie. No, like not that like before. that. So I think it was no. more of them experimenting with it. Yeah. Because now they understand what they're doing. And I really liked in that, which they carry on in this, the technique of, it's not just how real the Lego bits look, but it's when they're close up on their faces, the little real scratches yeah, they've got yeah. from being played with. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So we're on a smooth bit of their hair or something. And they're really rough. So basically we find that because the sister in the real world has destroyed Legoland, with all of her, was trying to destroy Legoland with all of her really pointless Duplo hearty kind of unicorn nonsense, so I really got that, because I not that I had a sister, but I remember girls' games and toys just being rubbish. Yeah. Um, so she cool. comes and try and wreck it. Suddenly we're in like apocalypse, aren't we? Is it Armageddon? Uh, Armageddon. Armageddon. No, but they call it apocalypse. That's. It's like Mad Max, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they but go it's all turned dark. into Mad Max, and it's dark and twisted. But at the heart of this dark, twisted hinterland of apocalyptic hell it's is Emmett. Still. <laughs> Chris Pratt. <laughs> Everything is cool when you're part of the team. Yeah, and he was still getting coffees, wasn't he? Yeah. So basically, Lucy, Batman, Unikitty, yeah. Iron Beard, and the spaceship guy yes. all get stolen by one of the aliens from um, the little right. sister's toys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they get stolen, and Emmett's left on his own and has got to try and rescue them by himself. And That's he knows right. a bit stupid. Yeah, he is stupid. That kind of stuff. Yeah. So we kind of follow him trying to save them. Oh, there was that really <laughs> funny discussion where him and Lucy, he said, she said, I'm brooding. And so she was like... Oh, yeah, and he was trying to brood. And he was trying to brood. Yeah, and he just couldn't do it. Just couldn't do it. Dumbledore from oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Like, is it Dumbledore or Gandalf? Gandalf. Or yeah, Gandalf was falling and he kept falling. It was so funny. Yeah. He kept... I'm a but he couldn't brood properly. By the first 20 minutes, we had laughed more <laughs> than I thought we laughed in the first Lego movie. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? We were really laughing, we were really yeah, laughing. Yeah. And also I was kind of relieved that they didn't have that everything is awesome song going because it time, does yeah. go bloody nuts on the first one. It's yeah, all the bloody yeah, time, does. isn't it? They all get captured and Emmett has to try and find them himself. That's right. <gasps> oh, on the yes. way doing, on doing so, he bumps into this other character called Rex. He yeah. saves his life. He's also voiced by Chris Pratt. Who is oh, like, it's the, same voice. it's the same voice, yeah. yeah. And he was like, Chris Pratt's character in Jurassic Park. Mm, yeah, well no, he was one of those Lego characters, because I remember like when you'd get the sets and everything, you could get Pratt's Caribbean set, you could yeah. get Indiana Jones set, which would have the characters. 
then you would just get those silly ones that could be anything. Yes. And you always had a Lego figure and they always looked the same in those kinds of sets. Yes. So he's like one of those Lego people that could be anything. Could be anything. Um, Uni so it's Lego really funny. Man. He's like, I've been the Raptor Man. Oh, I've that's right. Yeah, he had all his roles. Right. Did you get a bit nostalgic watching it for when we used to do Lego together? Yeah. yeah maybe it was a bit like Did it make you want to do Lego? Yeah, yeah. I was going to lean over, but I felt a bit embarrassed. I thought you might sort of say, shut up, Dad. It reminded me a bit of uh, Toy Story, this one. <laughs> yeah, it was a similar sort of story idea, wasn't yeah, it? That right. they were all about to go into the scrap heap because they were all talking about he'd had this vision hadn't he Emmett in, in his bad the, dream yeah, the, the, yeah he he'd had seen the, the dolphin clock go 515 he'd seen yeah. Gandalf fall down the hole into the center of the earth friends being, yeah it's funny though I really felt nostalgic I want I really genuinely thought I want to go out and buy a really small kit and I want to try and convince Kiki and Maddie to do them with me I would would you would. yeah I love the mini one. You like the mini one? I like the big one. You, so you, you used to do the to. boats. Yeah, what, do you like those, the smaller boxes? Yeah. Yeah, where well, you've got a fighting chance of doing them. Oh, we used to do them, I used to feel so happy. I used to feel so happy doing them. Do you think you were doing Lego to keep me happy? No, no I loved shut it. Shut up. Okay, loved cool. It's all about all right. you. Uh, okay, cool. I really like the relationship between Emmett and Rex. Yeah, they I, were really good together. I thought it was really funny, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Especially as he had beardy bits. <laughs> the stubble, and it's later on in the film where like, uh, Emma is like drawing them on, the dots, and then he just goes, have you drawn bits of stubble on your face? And he wipes it, and it's all smudged. Like, no. <laughs> For me, Emmett was so much more charming in this film, whereas he was irritating in the first one. Oh, I didn't find him irritating in the first one, but I know what you mean. It, you, do you, you find him irritating? I find one. him irritating in he the is, first one. in a good way. Yeah, yeah. He's supposed to be irritating. What do we think of Lucy? I never, I never, never really liked, liked Lucy. Her. I never liked her. I, I, love, the, I love her. The, Woman who voices her, Elizabeth Banks. Oh, Elizabeth! Oh, that's Elizabeth Banks yeah. from The Hunger Games, and she yeah. di she's directing the new Charlie's Angels film oh, as well. She... What do we think of Batman in this? Oh, we, we, I always love Batman. I wish it was a bit more of him, but when there was him, it was really funny. I liked his cleft of his pet. Oh yeah, when he was wearing his button. He down liked, had a cleavage, oh, yeah, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, yeah. He had a cleavage, funny. and then he had a white suit. Anyway, oh, and the, anyway, and the great part of the story is that he. He finds himself in an arranged marriage situation. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought there was a really funny scene where the kind of strange queen kind of character that yeah. wanted to marry him did the double bluff on him of pretending she wasn't she interested. Wanted, didn't want to marry him. And he didn't want to marry to him. To and then her. suddenly he was like proving it beyond doubt. And, and I like the fact that they had all that competition with Superman. So there's a lot yeah. of kind of in-jokes for superheroes and yeah. DC and Marvel. There's a great moment, did you hear, where they said, we put a call out to Marvel, but we haven't heard. Then they play on who they're actual bad guys and everything yeah because we're made to believe that the younger sisters talk lego people yeah. are the evil ones yes um but they're actually wanting to just be make amends with oh that's right that, yeah the, the two just want to make oh, yeah. amends and everything yeah but like emmett and all that lot have always thought that they've been attacking them sort of thing. what were some of your favorite parts in the film did you have any favorite bits yeah. I mean, did you think it worked the way they kept cutting to the real world so you had that sense of you know, yeah, what was like, actually happening. Yeah, but I didn't like how much they did. Did they do it too much, did yeah. you feel? Yeah. I, no, they I, didn't I, do it as much in the first one. No, they didn't do that. In fact, they, they so didn't do it in the first one. It was kind of a surprise at the end. You noticed that the girl is it's the- It's the one from Florida Project. Florida yeah. Project. Yeah. Mum's right. good. Yeah, the mum's good. Yeah, she was like, I'm like this close to childbirth. <laughs> <laughs> this close to childbirth. Oh God, yeah, when she stepped on the piece of Lego. Yeah. Oh, that's so true. I remember doing that so many so times. Painful. And I really liked the musical numbers as well. Oh yeah, the musical they numbers. They were well done. Yeah, what was the one? This and is not a catchy tune, or this is a catchy tune. Oh wait, right. this song's gonna get stuck. This song's gonna get stuck. This stuck. song's gonna get, this song's gonna get. This stuck song's in your head, isn't stuck it? Stuck inside your head. Yeah. yeah, so there was very, it was very self-conscious in the way it sort of played with Well, tunes. yeah, like before the first musical number, oh, yeah. Batman goes, oh my God, are they gonna start singing? <laughs> and then they were start <laughs> Don't I, tell me we're in a musical. <laughs> and even on the end credits, do stay for the end credits because the lyrics on the end credits are, are very, very oh, yeah, funny. But, yeah. I thought it was less frantic than the other film. Yeah, it was tighter. It was tighter. I quite, I, I thought the dinosaurs were a bit rubbish. Every time we went to them, no, some of their jokes are funny. Some, like, yeah, the best friends. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They translate their words, yeah. don't they, at the bottom. Yeah. And when all oh, this, when Rex's yeah, dinosaurs are getting that. killed off and is naming all of them, and the last one dies, he goes, "The other one." Oh yeah, <laughs> and yeah. That's his name. And that's his, his name. name. Yeah. What I tell you, a scene I did like was the spa. Do you remember when they met the sort of vamp of the blue vampire kind of guy? Oh yeah, he was. And brilliant. they all went for a spa. Well, what and was so... it that Batman said? Oh, something like massaging my tormented soul and chiseled glutes or something. <laughs> It's something like that. It's it very so funny. Fun. It's very. It's a very well written, and of course, it's written by the guys uh, Phil Lord and Christopher Miller, 
who um, who were actually the people who started directing and making Solo. That but you said Kiki when we came out, you felt it was a bit too long, didn't you? Yeah. I, f- I felt that. I, I, I'm with you. I thought it, was it? it was an hour and forty, a hundred, yeah, an hour and forty-five minutes, which is nearly was two it? hours. Yeah, yeah, it's quite long. Like, Two and a half. Well, it, well, it felt long, but I did think there was I a kind of point like they could have cut out earlier. Yeah. I thought, I thought they kind of it, it went on. I mean, I, I don't think they could have cut out earlier because I think it was fine where it ended. But bits within the film itself could have been taken. Yeah, out. I tell you who I did think was weak. I thought the strange creature with the helmet that yeah. was that other woman yeah. who she rescued. Mm. I couldn't work out if we were supposed to know who she was. I liked it no. before she took her helmet. Yeah, I did I too. Liked it before she took yeah, and then it all got a bit soppy and a bit stupid, and I didn't really understand it. Well, also we found out that Rex is Emmett from the future. Oh, God, yes. And he's the bad Jesus. guy. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, that's the biggest spoiler <laughs> of the lot, is that Rex is actually... What happens to him in the end? Is he kind of... He disappears Rex because disappears. The, the past has been changed. Oh, God, oh, there's a, such a clever riff on the Back to the Future thing, isn't there? Yeah. Where his arm starts to disappear and he says, I'm doing the Back to the Future thing. thing. And then the, Emmett's like, what's the Back to the Future thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Lightest... Oh, oh, it, was you was farting. <laughs> it did sound like a wibbly wobbly <laughs> fart, didn't it? Um, no, but when she, when he first when they like set off a bomb in front of oh Rex's yeah face yeah and yeah he like falls and it, that's it's such a light sound it's like oh yeah it was a bit like that moment in Bugs Life where it's all and like when the explosion happens and it shows the explosion from far away so like underneath the drive yeah yeah. Absolutely. That like was so good. So but I tell you something else I really like. There were a couple of moments where they had them moving around as real Lego pieces, as if yeah, they were, like, you know how we move them around in like, the real life, like yeah. that. Oh, and I love that detail because there's those different Lego people and their legs are like stuck together, so they can't. You know the Lego. People oh yes. Their legs don't move. Yeah. So they were walking like that. Oh, that's so right. Like the space person with the helmet on was yeah. having to jump yeah, when they were like walking. But wasn't that like the princess you were saying who made that funny noise? <laughs> She was yeah. running off. Like yeah, that's right. The Lego. So you know the Lego people. You're right. That have the block because they wear a dress or something. Yeah. So that, <laughs> yeah. That oh, was. So I thought funny. so many little observations like that. And also there was that little character. Was the spaceman who had a little kind spaceship, of spaceship station, spaceship, spaceship station, spaceship station. I remember desperately wanting one of those from well, my I friend William the Dibley. First one, he was obsessed with spaceships. He yeah. Could shout spaceship. That's man. right. Yeah. Oh, it, how long did it take to make? Them? It took them about two and a half years from start to finish to make. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of rendering and a lot of animation. Well, you can see that yeah, the that's only is... part, that's only a part of why I like it. Like, that's one of the reasons yeah, I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it takes, well, it takes so long and you can see all the work in this. Thing. I mean, I have to confess, the, the thing that I do think is brilliant about them is that, you know, like with a lot of cartoons, you can see how they've painted the backdrop and then everything happens in the, in the foreground. Yeah. Every single part of the shot was so well, three-dimensional yeah. in a sense and bricky, wasn't it? Yeah. It wasn't like, you never, never felt flat. And then I thought there were some really funny moments never where- Never felt like the Lego ended. There were other little moments which I thought were really funny. You know when they sort of like, they jump into a spaceship and fly off and it was really dramatic and then they cut to someone pulling it along with a piece oh, of yeah, string. Oh yeah, a piece of string. I thought, <laughs> very comic. And so I thought it was a really clever, Did you notice whenever film. Rex was shooting his gun, he was making the noises? Was he? <laughs> <laughs> It was never his gun waiting, so... So let's sum up then. So why doesn't Kiki sum up and give us your score? What did you think Uh, of it, if you were to tell a friend about it? I liked it more than the first one, Yeah. Yeah. It was really, parts of it were really funny. They were. It was too long. One of the reasons I like it is because it took so long to make and how it's so well done. Yeah, so Um, it is gorgeously done. Yeah, it was really funny. Who's your favourite characters? Rex. He, uh, he, I think he might have been mine. He was so funny with his kind of, oh, so sort yeah. of manly, yeah. but not oh, manly. That character, the ice cream. Oh, the ice oh, cream was, was like funny. The banana yeah. as well. The banana, yeah. Yeah, the I ice cream. I had a dream about this. No, no. When he's like falling. Yeah, yeah, the ice cream was funny. It was funny. But Emmett. No, yeah, he's not my favourite character though. No, I know what you mean. He's just a bit irritating. Yeah, but they make his character irritating. Yeah, no, it's true. true. Um, so I'd give it like a six. Six out of ten. It's a good score. I found the first film, I thought everyone was raving about it and I thought it was really annoying and I found the song that everyone was also raving about really annoying. So it kind of just slightly grated. I could see that it was brilliantly done, the first one. So it was a really, it was a tricky... You still loved Will Ferrell in it. Yeah, I loved Will Ferrell in it. I liked the ending, it was a huge surprise. There was a lot that I could see was brilliant about the first Lego movie, but I did find it ultimately, it just made me get 
I got annoyed with it. I just kept getting annoyed with it. And every time I watched it, I was like, Arr. this one didn't annoy me at all. I had a real laugh. I really enjoyed it. I escaped. I was reminded about how much I loved Lego. I thought it was very well written. The second one is much funnier than the first, I think. I'd give it a seven out of 10. Well, I really liked the first one. <laughs> I know you did. Um, I found it really funny and everything. I was excited about this one, but I didn't think it was, I had the, um, I assumed it wasn't going to be as good because mm. sequels usually just flop. Mm. Um, uh, but I was laughing from beginning to end. Mm. And I absolutely love Emmett. And I know he's annoying. But yeah, he's supposed he is to be. funny. Like, he's the only overly happy one. Like, <laughs> it's just so funny. It's like that bit where she gets the binoculars out and they get bigger and each time he's going, ooh, ah, <laughs> really? And it's like not noticing that the situation it's is... It's getting worse. Yeah, yeah I know. He's totally oblivious. the binoculars are getting bigger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like. I loved all the characters. And I really liked the storyline. It didn't get too complicated. It didn't actually, no. Um, and it didn't get too clever. It didn't get too clever and complicated, but it also wasn't kept simple and easy, so that you just felt felt you were watching a kids' film. Yes. I didn't feel like I was watching a film for children. No. Because it had some jokes in there that kids wouldn't get. Yeah, 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 yeah. We haven't been to see a film together. I was reminded for quite a long time, just the three of yeah. us, which was. Not a kid's film, but because Kiki has quite a much older taste for being a 12 year old. For me, I was a bit worried about going in to see this, but actually it was quite sophisticated in its humour, wasn't it? Yeah, it was quite yeah. grown up in it, in the jokes that it was telling. I wish there was a little bit of uh, Will Ferrell. So I'd probably give this film an eight. Hey, and what's the new song that's come from it? Everything's, Everything's not, not awesome. awesome. Everything's not awesome. If you try to believe like Everything's not awesome, awesome When you're in the trees See it, it's a good family movie And You'll then have you fun. found out at the end, Emmett That um, Lucy's the singer in the song Oh yeah When he gets the vinyl and he goes Oh, oh God, yes <laughs> His facial expression was so funny On his sweet house and, Oh yeah, I just oh, wanted yeah. to add that they managed to give Lego uh, emotion yeah, you actually how do end they do up that? getting feelings for Lego, like because Lego, yeah. if you look at it, it's such a emotionless thing. Just emotionless it's just bricks. A bit of plastic. For more film and family fun, don't forget to click the subscribe button and make sure to click the bell to never miss an update.